Ooh, we just got a knock at the door. Ooh, my package came in, buddy. You excited? All right, let's go get this package. Yes. Let's see. Ooh. Yo, this is definitely finna come in handy for like my new videos that I plan on working on. Oh my gosh, we got the little lights. Comes with like a camera stand. Yo, I'm finna try this out here in a bit. And this right here that I ordered was my computer charger because my dog ate my last one. So this is definitely gonna come in handy for future videos for like my computer because I plan on doing more reactions. So get this open. Perfect, yo. We're gonna be setting this stuff up because I actually wanna see how this works and if it actually works. Cause I actually heard a kind of a loud bang. So it kind of sounded like the guy kind of like dumped my package a little harder than it should have been. But yeah, we're gonna get this set up and then we're gonna see how it looks. You actually have to plug it into the computer for it to work, which is, you know, fine. And look at that. Bro, this is like some legit looking iron shit. This thing is a lot brighter than I thought it was. And this is definitely gonna come in handy for like all these uh, videos, like I said, I'm gonna be doing. That's definitely gonna come in handy. Oh. What's well, goody? All right. For all the people that follow me on my social media, if it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace. Anyways, for all the people that follow me on social media, y'all know that I put a thing on my story saying that I was gonna be doing a Q&A for my YouTube channel. And I've actually got back quite a bit of questions, but for this video, I'm probably gonna keep it down to like 11, maybe a little less than that. Cause some of these questions I probably might get more in detailed with because uh, I feel like they're not just straight up uh, yes or no questions or stuff like that. So one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to do a Q&A is because in all my past videos, I never really got too, too much into my life of like who I am. And I feel like for people that have been watching me on my channel, I feel like y'all guys don't know me as well as I want y'all to. And I feel like doing a Q&A would be a good way for y'all to know me more. And as you can see, the light looks fresh. And uh, yeah, I might be doing my videos right here. I don't know. Water's so good. All right, so without further ado, let's get into these questions. All right, question number one. Why did you start YouTube? One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to start YouTube is because it just looked like so much fun. Whenever you'd watch a YouTuber online, whether it was someone that did skits or someone that played games, all that stuff just looked fun to me and interesting, you know? I just knew that was like something I wanted to do. Next question, <laughs> why did you stop for so long? Oh man, um, sum it all down, I was really losing the feeling of YouTube because I would literally shoot maybe like two videos in one day and that same day I would edit one whole video that same day and I would try to upload it all one of those videos in one day and by then it would literally be the next day I was losing sleep. For people that are on YouTube that edit videos, you all know that editing is by far the most aggravating thing. And in high school, around the time I stopped, I was actually playing sports. And at the same time, I was a student. You know, at the same time, I'm a, still a kid. So I still had stuff to do around home situation. And then I had YouTube. So those were like four things that were in the way. Not only did I play sports, I played two sports. So for athletes that were in high school, for whoever, for y'all, whoever played in high school, a sport, y'all know you have to make a lot of sacrifices just to play a sport. And that's hard. And uh, like I was saying, I was just losing the feel of YouTube because I would spend so much time trying to edit this and that and I was only getting 45, 60 views. I know I say I lost the fill, but I feel like I left for the wrong reason. The reason why I started YouTube, like I said on the first question is because it just looked fun to me. And whenever I was stressing, I wasn't thinking like, you know, you started to have fun. You shouldn't be stressing. I really should have just kept going because I feel like YouTube is something that I can do for a while because I like making people laugh. I like being goofy. Next question, why did you move? All right, for y'all who don't follow me on social media, I originally lived in Louisiana, but it just, 
Man, living in Louisiana, um, I had a lot of friends and as high school was just about ending, everybody was leaving, you know, because of college. Me, I'm not in college. I just didn't feel like that was something for me, but eventually I could possibly go to college. Not, th I don't have anything against college. If, if y'all want to go to school and get a better education, that, that go for it. But for me, I just didn't feel like that was my route or my calling, if y'all understand. But yeah, a lot of my friends were leaving for college, a lot of my friends were getting jobs, and I was really, I really just felt alone with how life was going. Uh, I'm not trying to get all depressing, but um, I was just waking up each and every morning, going to a job I really hated, coming home, wake up the next morning, and I was repeating it. It was just really sad, and I felt empty. Ever since the move, I felt like I have a weight lifted off my chest, and I just feel free yeah sorry that got real deep next question <laughs> uh what am i most looking forward to in 2020 uh what am i looking forward to probably one of the biggest things i'm looking forward to are the movies that are coming out in 2020 just to name a few off my you know, off, off the top of my head uh conjuring 3 i love scary movies i love the conjuring series i love how the whole horror world they have going on so for me to see part three, I, I really want to see. Uh, I know Black Widow is supposed to be coming out. They also have another James Bond movie coming out as well. Those are just movies off the top of my head. I'm sure there's other movies. And if y'all know any other movies coming out 2020, comment them below. All right, next question. What do I do for a living? Currently, since I've moved here, I really haven't been working. So I'm currently unemployed. <laughs> oh man. Um, next question. Top three celebrity crushes. Putting me on the spot. Uh, for one person that I know I could say I have a crush on is Zendaya. Uh, second crush... Uh, bro, like, I really do don't know. That's, that's a hard question. Ariana Grande. And my third... Uh, mm, that's hard. I'll just say Kylie Jenner. I don't really have a crush on her, but that's just a name I could think of off the top of my head at the moment. Next question. What motivates you every day? Um, well, I don't know if this is really answering your question, but I feel like just life in general. Like, I know there's people in the world that have less than me, and, uh, and I know people have that are my age that may have grown up in a harder situation. So for me to be able to have a house over my head, good food, clothes, a hat on my head, and all that stuff, you know, it, it really means a lot, and for people that don't have that, you know, I feel for them, so knowing that I have things uh, kind of motivates me, and it kind of makes me want to keep on working, so I don't have to end up in like a, I don't want to be in that part of life where I'm just lost, so I guess just life in general, I don't know if I'm answering your question right, <laughs> some of these questions have gone deep. Next question. What about them Spurs? Bruh, for y'all who don't know this, I'm, I was born in San Antonio, Texas. I have family in San Antonio, Texas. We are big Spurs fans. Well, me personally, anything Texas related, I love. I love Dallas Cowboys, uh, Texans, they're okay. And I just, I just love the Spurs. I was born in 99 which was actually the same year the spurs won their first championship so thank thank you greg popovich tim duncan david robinson for that uh, after the Kawhi trade oh man i feel like we didn't really get too much back out of that trade and i i, I don't have nothing against demar Derozan, but he just isn't that kind of star he's not on the same star level as Kawhi. And for Kawhi to have left, I mean, I know it was a big thing for people and they hated that, but me personally, if he, if someone's not happy of where they're at, kind of like how I was when I wasn't happy in Louisiana and I left and I started feeling better, I feel like it's kind of the same thing. Cause you know, he's living in Louisiana and yes, he may have had fans, but if you're not happy where you're at, then, you know, moving on could be like the best thing. And I think him moving on was really a good thing because, I mean, hell, he won a championship in Toronto first year there. And now after that, you know, he left. Now he's back home in 
Los Angeles playing for the LA Clippers. But the Spurs, um, I guess we have some young talent from this from this trade. We got some pretty young talent. I don't think we're gonna be nothing special, but I know we're gonna make playoffs, but I feel like we probably need to get out first round. If they really wanna make something good of themselves for this year, they're gonna have to trade DeMar DeRozan. That's all I have to say. Well, other than that, go Spurs. Hopefully we do good this year. <laughs> What's your eye color? A lot of people, a lot of people are interested in my eyes, but they're actually hazel. Some people are like, your eye look, your eyes look green, and then one day they'll be like, your eye looks blue. I heard this from like a teacher. I don't know if it's true, but like depending on my moods, my eye color changes. So that's pretty cool. So I don't know what color my I, I wonder what my eye color is when I'm constipated. Would it be brown? Or what if could it be green too though? Well, that's all the questions for today. Like I said, I still have more questions that I could answer, but I would like to say for a part two. And if your questions didn't make it to this video, like I said, just wait for part two. And if you have any more questions, comment them below or contact me on my social medias. This should be in the description below as well. Yeah, I kind of like this because y'all got to know a little more about me. Stay tuned for my next video. Should be coming out soon. I'm not going to say what it is just yet, but uh, yeah. I do have some ideas though. That's it for today. Hit that like button, subscribe button, hit the little notification bell. I think that's what it's called. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Bias timer.